there's some light at the end of the tunnel, but the payments that people are locked in on on those higher priced vehicles aren't going away anytime soon. Toyota's CEO announced the end of Lexus and fired all workers. This seismic shift has left everyone scrambling to make sense of it all. For years, Lexus was the perfect example of luxury and innovation under the Toyota umbrella. So its departure, a total game changer in the company's storyline. The big announcement got folks scratching their heads about Toyota's next chapter, especially in a world where sleek electric rides and fierce newcomers are all the rage. Are they gearing up for a fresh luxury pivot? What does this mean for the thousands of employees suddenly out of work as well as Toyota's standing in the upscale car market? And how is this going to affect you? What's happening? Lexus has always been synonymous with luxury, style, and innovation. It's the brand that has set the standard in the premium automotive market for decades. But here we are, facing the possibility that this iconic brand might just be bidding us farewell. It's no secret that the luxury vehicle market is ever evolving, with fierce competition and increasing demands for innovation. But who would have thought that Toyota would decide to reimagine its flagship luxury brand entirely? And what about the workers, thousands of dedicated employees employees who have poured their passion and expertise into creating some of the finest vehicles the industry has seen are facing a significant transition. The news isn't just affecting the high-ranking officials in plush office chairs, it's impacting everyone, from designers to factory floor workers. But how could a company like Lexus suddenly decide to shut its doors, right? Let me explain why. The Downfall Dilemma Lexus is cruising through a financial storm and the numbers reveal a rather rocky road ahead. For the fiscal year ending March 2023, Toyota pulled in consolidated sales revenues amounting to an impressive $231.5 billion. But hold on to your seats because that's down from a whopping $283.5 billion in the previous fiscal year. That's right, we're talking about a jaw-dropping plummet of approximately $52 billion. We're dealing with some blockbuster level drama, folks. Next, picture the operating income sliding down a steep hill. During the same fiscal spectacle, operating income took a dive to around $20.4 billion, reduced from $22.4 billion. What's that mean? We are looking at a significant drop of about $2 billion. It's like discovering your favorite ice cream joint is closed for the summer. Not pleasant at all. Now, let's put income before taxes under the microscope. It shrank to a modest $27.5 billion from from $30.0 billion. That's a neat cleanup of around $2.5 billion, adding another layer of complexity to our story. These figures help narrate the financial voyage that shows Lexus isn't simply speeding along an open road, but rather navigating through a congested junction full of challenges. The vehicle sales performance then comes into play, providing a faint glimmer of hope, or perhaps a false dawn. Toyota and Lexus together saw their total vehicle sales tick upward by a minor 1%, nudging to approximately 9.6 million units. While any growth could be seen as a reason to celebrate, this slight uptick merely whispers compared to a booming expectation, indicating that the luxury segment is idling rather than accelerating. Now, let's address the elephant in the room, increased costs. We're talking about everything from production line hurdles to currency exchange roller coasters, all rolling together into a firm grip on profit margins. These expenses have wound up squeezing operating income by approximately 3.6 billion dollars. When you mix in the losses tied to foreign exchange and production hiccups, you've got a classic recipe for strained profitability. It's like watching a high stakes poker game with players hedging their bets on an unstable hand. The mosaic of these figures paints a picture that's not just about dollars and cents, but about deeper issues that Lexus faces in the luxury automotive arena. But what's driving all these issues to the forefront? Well, there are certain main reasons for all this to happen. Let me break it down to you. Shifts in the EV landscape. The luxury automotive market is on the brink of a massive shakeup as electric vehicles drive their way into the heart of traditional gasoline dominated territory. And Lexus is feeling the heat with new, nimble entrants steering the way forward. The landscape is getting crowded, competitive, and downright electrifying. Over the past few years, we've witnessed an electrifying boom in the electric vehicle market. It's like watching fireworks light up the night sky. This explosive growth isn't just about having fancy gadgets in a car. It's driven by consumer hunger for eco-friendly rides and groundbreaking advancements in battery technology. 
Tesla, that's electric powerhouse, has thrown down the gauntlet for what electric luxury vehicles should aspire to be. They've captured a lion's share of the market, redefining consumer expectations along the way. Take a moment and let this sink in. By 2022, Tesla was the best-selling luxury brand in the US, overtaking titans like BMW and Mercedes-Benz. This seismic shift has pushed luxury automakers, Lexus included, to hit the drawing board and rethink, well, everything. But let's pump the brakes and take a closer look at Lexus. Here's the thing, Lexus has always been synonymous with quality and reliability. It's like that old friend who's always got your back, you know. But when it comes to making the leap to electrification, they've been dragging their feet. While Toyota, the parent company of Lexus, has laid out ambitious plans to roll out multiple electric models by 2030, the pace feels like a leisurely Sunday drive compared to their competitors racing at full throttle. As we glance at 2023, electric vehicles make up just 29.6% of Lexus's total sales, a number that pales in comparison to the leaders in the field. This unhurried response has put a damper on consumer interest, leading to a noticeable dip in sales. Price War as the battle for dominance in the luxury electric vehicle segment intensifies, a full-blown price competition has erupted. Automakers are in a frenzy, slashing prices to sway consumers who are becoming increasingly price sensitive amidst economic uncertainty. Picture this, Tesla has not been shy about taking an aggressive stance, shaving prices off their models to stay ahead and boost sales volumes. This bold move has cornered other luxury brands into a tight spot, compelling them to either follow suit or risk hemorrhaging markets market share. Feeling the squeeze, Lexus faces a tricky situation. Known for positioning itself as a premium brand with a hefty price tag, Lexus is now caught in a conundrum. The brand stands at a crossroads, unable to dance to the tune of price cuts without potentially sacrificing its luxury aura. The stark reality is that if Lexus can't juggle competitive pricing with maintaining its luxurious allure, they might lose out on potential customers who could seek solace in more affordable competitors. And let's not forget the the price cut pressure, it's shrinking profit margins as Lexus strives to keep up. On top of all this, Lexus is struggling with increased production costs. Supply chain disruptions and material shortages are like thorns in its side. Here's an example to put it in perspective. Toyota found itself shelling out considerable bucks on recalls that impacted over 100,000 vehicles, including certain Lexus models. These financial headaches not only squeeze profitability, but also pull the spotlight away from developing new models worthy of electric glory. It's like trying to catch a runaway ball while juggling eggs. Something's bound to break. Supply chain chaos. Ever wondered why you're not seeing as many shiny new cars at the Lexus dealership? Well, let's take a closer look at the dramatic scene unfolding in the automotive world, particularly for Lexus. The culprit behind the curtain is the massive disruptions in the supply chain. Thanks largely to a one-two punch from the COVID-19 pandemic and a significant shortage in semiconductors. It may sound technical, but these disruptions have thrown a massive wrench into the gears of car production. The result? Delays, delays, and even more delays in the production line, leading to way fewer vehicles making it to the showroom floor. You can imagine how this would take a toll on sales numbers, right? Lexus feels this pressure acutely as they grapple with fewer luxury vehicles cruising out of their factories and onto dealership lots. And get this, it's not just about sales, but about staying forceful in that fiercely competitive luxury segment. With supply chain hiccups, it's a battle just to maintain their rightful place on the leaderboard. Brand identity. Now, let's shift gears a bit and tackle another issue playing out for Lexus. Brand identity challenges. Picture Lexus, known traditionally as the go-to for plush comfort and unyielding reliability, a cozy fortress in the luxury vehicle space. But let's face it, times are changing, and the automotive world is seeing a dramatic shift in what consumers want. Gone are the days when luxury meant just leather seats and a smooth ride. Nowadays, the buzzwords are performance, tech savviness, and eco-friendly innovations. And Lexus is caught in a bind, trying to uphold its classical brand virtues while also keenly appealing to a younger, more dynamic buyer base. They're the ones putting greater emphasis on sustainability and cutting edge technology, eyeing the future rather than resting on traditional luxury laurels. Lexus stands at a crossroads, contemplating a way to fuse its historic brand ethos with a progressive mindset that's all the rage now. How do they pull off this balancing act, maintaining their identity while evolving to meet the demands of an audience united by a desire for speed, tech, and a smaller carbon footprint? It's a high-wire act in a world where the definition 
notion of luxury is increasingly fluid, a world where yesterday's luxury might just be today's standard. Lexus must navigate this intricate dance of preserving its time-honored promise, yet stepping confidently into an innovative frontier to captivate tomorrow's buyers. How they tackle this challenge might just shape the luxury car narrative for years to come. Luxury on the brink. Imagine this. You've been eyeing that sleek new Lexus, envisioning yourself behind the wheel, when suddenly the economic weather turns stormy. Just like that, your dreams of luxury might have to take a back seat. This scenario perfectly captures how broader economic conditions have a significant impact on Lexus's financial performance. When the economy takes a nosedive or uncertainties loom large, people tend to hit the brakes on their luxury spending. It's an understandable yet challenging reality that directly affects those glittering sales figures for luxury brands like Lexus. Consider this, when the economy is roaring, people are more likely to indulge in high-end purchases. Luxury cars, watches, and handbags, these are the kinds of things that thrive in a flourishing economy. However, when the financial winds turn cold, consumers often start to rethink their purchasing decisions. Suddenly, the allure of that plush Lexus starts to pale when compared to more budget-friendly alternatives. In a cost-conscious world, that might mean sticking with a reliable, albeit less luxurious, set of wheels until the economic tide turns. In times of austerity, when people are tightening their belts, the perceived need for luxury items frequently diminishes. Consumers become more calculated with their spending, prioritizing essentials over extravagance. It's as if Lexus and other luxury brands notice a collective consumer shift towards moderation, a pivot that can cause worry by casting a shadow over the demand for high-end vehicles. The luxury sector in general is intrinsically linked to economic health. When things are rosy, the market flourishes. When they're rocky, the demand for these upscale items typically stutters. Lexus being nestled right in that premium market segment feels these tremors acutely. The moment people start watching their wallets, the ripple effects quickly traverse through the entire luxury landscape, causing demand to wane and putting pressure on companies to recalibrate. And it's not just about current conditions. Perceptions of future economic stability play a big role too. For Lexus, the challenge lies in weathering these turbulent economic cycles while staying the course on their brand promise. Luxury buyers tend to have higher disposable income, but even they aren't immune to economic pressures. The key is striking a balance between maintaining the exclusivity and prestige of the brand while adapting to the shifting landscape of consumer preferences and economic realities. The fluctuating economy and its challenges create a narrative around consumer behavior that Lexus and other luxury brands must continually navigate. As they chart their path forward, it's crucial to remain attuned to these changing currents. With each economic downturn or wave of uncertainty, the luxury market faces a test of resilience. Demand for premium experiences remains, but the journey to retaining consumer interest might mean steering a different course. Now, let's talk about how this change might shift the gears for Lexus, its high-end consumers, and the competition as we navigate the twists and turns of global automotive trends. Layoffs and Legacy Now let's talk about the mass layoffs, a drastic move by Toyota as it grapples with the whirlwind that is today's automotive market. We're talking seismic shifts, think the rise of cutting edge tech and a fierce race among competitors. Reports are swirling about Toyota's intention to cut deep, with suggestions that up to 10,000 positions could be axed worldwide. This means touching different corners of its operations, from its broad reaching manufacturing sites to its luxury darling Lexus. What's particularly jaw-dropping about this move is how it bucks Toyota's long-standing tradition. For years, they prided themselves on a no-layoffs policy. It was a staple of their corporate ethos, a badge of honor even. Now, seeing them step away from this legacy tells us just how daunting these challenges have become for the company. They are indeed navigating uncharted waters, and these layoffs seem like a distress signal, highlighting the stormy economic seas in which they find themselves adrift. But let's pause to think about the emotional and economic shockwaves unleashed by this decision on the workers themselves. For many employees, being part of Toyota isn't just a job, it's a cornerstone of their identity. Imagine the gut punch of realizing your days at Toyota, which which you might have expected to last until retirement, could be numbered. The emotional toll is immense, weaving anxiety, fears for the future, and a raw sense of letdown, especially for those who have given their all for years on end. Turning to the economic fallout, it's no small thing. Losing a job can throw families into a financial whirlwind, disrupting everything, from housing security to dreams of a college education for the kids. And in places where Toyota's footprint is vast, like the manufacturing hubs of Indiana or Kentucky, 
the stakes are even higher. These communities are often built around such jobs, relying heavily on the stability provided by an established employer. Layoffs there don't just affect individuals, they destabilize whole local economies, shaking the bedrock of community life. Moreover, it's not just about the direct employees. The interconnected web of the automotive industry means that a hiccup at Toyota could ripple outward, affecting suppliers and ancillary businesses that rely on Toyota's steady operations. It's a domino effect, where job losses in one area potentially trigger waves of uncertainty and layoffs across the supply chain. This interconnectedness paints a complex picture of the vast economic ecosystem at play, underscoring how critical Toyota's strategic decisions are, not just for them, but for industries linked to and dependent upon them. In the face of these tough choices, how will Toyota redefine its path in the competitive, tech-driven automotive future? What's their next move? Strategy behind the layoff. If their recent move to initiate mass layoffs isn't just an isolated decision. It's part of a grand strategy to streamline, restructure, and reimagine the future. First off, it's all about adapting to market changes. The automotive industry is not what it used to be. It's racing full throttle towards electric vehicles and embracing sustainable mobility solutions. Think about it. As consumer preferences shift gears at lightning speed, traditional automakers like Toyota are feeling the pressure to overhaul their business models. It's a profound transformation that demands they channel resources away from what's not cutting it anymore. Those divisions or segments that just aren't compatible with future growth strategies. And then there's the competition. It's fierce and it's relentless. With new entrants storming the EV market, especially titans like Tesla, the luxury car battlefield is becoming increasingly crowded. These companies are gobbling up market shares with their avant-garde innovations and bold pricing strategies. Lexus under Toyota's umbrella must find a way to fight back and streamline their operations if they want to stay at the top of their game and fend off these aggressive newcomers. But financial pressures are hard to ignore. The costs of producing these advanced vehicles are spiraling upwards due to persistent supply chain disruptions and the scarcity of essential materials. By cutting down on workforce numbers, Toyota is looking to ease these financial burdens. They aim to trim their operational fat, striving to keep profitability within reach, even amidst a tough economic climate. Strategic realignment plays a pivotal role in this corporate calculus. With Akio Toyota passing the leadership torch to Koji Sato, there's a clear cue of a paradigm shift within Toyota. The company is navigating its transformation into a mobility company, which entails a fundamental reassessment of their current practices and possibly pruning those divisions that no longer resonate with their fresh vision of the future. This strategic voyage is Toyota's response to the dynamics of the modern-day automotive landscape, one that's defined by electrification, cutthroat competition, and nimble recalibration to new realities. It's a fascinating and complex maneuver designed to adapt and thrive in an industry that's rapidly being reshaped, and it leaves us wondering, as Toyota charts this new course, what's in store for those riding along with them, and how will they redefine what mobility truly means? The journey has just begun, and the next chapters are sure to be compelling. Consumer backlash. Let's talk about the roller coaster of public sentiment swirling around Toyota right now. People everywhere are chiming in, with responses ranging from those shocked and let down by the automaker's decision to those trying to make sense of it all. It's a big deal, especially since Toyota has long stood as a beacon of loyalty and security for its employees. The online chatter is a mixed bag, combining heartfelt concern for those who are losing their jobs with a hefty dose of skepticism about where Toyota's headed. Diving into the nitty-gritty of social media reactions, a lot of users are calling out what they see as a betrayal of Toyota's historical commitments to its team. Employees, especially those who've been with the company for a long time, are openly sharing their fear about job stability and whether this giant will be able to keep its solid reputation after making such bold moves. There's a palpable sense of anxiety hanging in the air. That being said, not everyone is painting the layoffs in doom and gloom. A segment of the consumer pool is looking at these cuts as a tough but necessary step for Toyota to survive and thrive in an ever-shifting market landscape dominated by the rise of electric vehicles. This division in reactions underscores a wide uncertainty about how these workforce changes could reshape the brand's prospects. Now, let's switch gears to see how all this commotion might affect the loyalty and trust consumers place in Toyota. In the past, the brand has enjoyed a rock-solid reputation. Toyota has frequently been synonymous with reliability and unparalleled customer 
customer satisfaction, a badge earned by its unwavering pledge to both quality and the welfare of its workforce. But with this upheaval, perceptions are bound to shift, and not necessarily for the better. Talking about brand loyalty, we can't ignore the emotional side. For those steadfast Toyota fans, the layoffs could trigger a reassessment of their relationship with the brand. Imagine being a loyal customer who equates Toyota with stability, only to find surprises such as these. Feelings of disappointment might prompt them to look elsewhere, at brands whose values are in better alignment with theirs. Trust also plays an integral role, especially in the luxe segment where brands like Lexus operate. The layoffs raise a red flag for some about Toyota's long-term viability and devotion to quality. If it appears the firm is putting cost-cutting measures over employee well-being and the products we all adore, there's a real chance consumer trust could start to wane. Prediction for Toyota post-announcement and Toyota's financial future is the hot topic of the day, especially after recent layoffs. The financial implications of these changes aren't as simple as saving a few bucks here and there. It's a whole roller coaster involving cost savings, potential revenue losses, innovation investments, market positioning battles, and long-term viability strategies. Let's talk about cost savings versus revenue loss. Sure, dropping some jobs off the payroll can make Toyota's financials look all shiny in the short term, flashing better profitability metrics. But here's where it gets tricky. What if productivity among the remaining staff takes a nosedive? The morale factor is a biggie. Imagine coming to work every day worried about your own job security. Not exactly a recipe for top-notch performance. If this uncertainty starts messing with employee engagement, we might see a dip in overall operational efficiency. Now, pivoting to something a bit more exciting, innovation investment. By freeing up cash previously locked away in labor expenses, Toyota could channel those funds into cool stuff like research and development for electric vehicles and breakthrough technologies. This shift isn't just a whimsical choice. It's a strategic necessity. Consumers are leaning hard into sustainable options, and for Toyota to ride that wave, investing in green innovations isn't just smart, it's essential. Then there's the market positioning conundrum. The luxury automaker space is one big, dramatic soap opera right now, with a fierce price war raging in full glory. Competitors are cutting prices left and right, making it a battlefield to capture more of the market share. Meanwhile, if Lexus Toyota's luxury brand doesn't keep up with these aggressive strategies, strategies, they might find their sales figures taking a hit. It's like playing musical chairs in a stadium-sized room, and the music's almost stopping. Toyota's got to secure that coveted seat. Looking down the road, pun intended, what about Toyota's long-term survival? Experts are betting that if Toyota masters this tricky transition while keeping their vehicles top-notch and their customers trusting, they could end up on top in the electric vehicle race. But, and it's a big but, missing the mark here might see Toyota losing market share. And profit could take a tumble. This unfolding narrative of Toyota's future financial performance is a saga of tough calls and strategic maneuvers. It's about balancing instant gains against potential future setbacks. It's about leveraging cost strategies to fuel innovation while standing strong against a backdrop of intense market competition. And it's all leading to the big question. Will they break away as leaders in the electric vehicle revolution? Or will their decline in market shares paint a different story? The auto world watches, speculates, and waits to see how this chapter unfolds. What are your thoughts on Toyota's bold move? Do you believe this is a necessary step towards innovation, or do you see it as a betrayal of the brand's legacy? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below.